Karma for just a second here. Here we go. Oh, that was almost too much primer. Okay, we got oil pressure. We're going to turn the alternator on. Nav lights and avionic master. Mustang 6 flight, back to the runway 15, Charlie, Delta. Delta and Delta to 15, Mustang 6 flight. Okay, here we go. And Mustang 6 flight, the winds now are 100 at 5. Okay, now we're going to do a real quick before takeoff checklist. All right, alternators in. Cool, that's really good. Flaps are up, I can see they're up. Trims are set, shoulder harness locked. Mixture goes to auto rich, prop is forward. Coolant and oil doors are auto and guarded. Mags are on both. Radio is set for takeoff. Transponder is off because we're number two. Boost pump is on. We're on the left tank in the detent. We've got quantity, we've got caps, no venting. We've got fuel pressure. Temperatures are already warm. Static gauges are set. Hydraulic T-handle is in. Three and one gauge looking good. Gonna turn the strobe lights on and do a run-up. Okay, stick back. I'm gonna go up to 2300 RPM. Bring the prop back once for a 400 RPM drop. Do a magneto check. Just gonna get away car, go on. Air Tier 1, you would there? Yeah, and Air Tier 1's about to stick to the north inbound with a golf for the uh, signature ramp. Looks good, Air sounds one good. One All right. One mile north of the field. Here we go. Okay, Speed Tower, November 4897, Victor, 3 miles west of uh, the runway. Cessna 4897, Victor, Roger, continue straight in runway 6. Mustangs are departing 1 5. Continue straight in runway 6, Narasan Victor. Here we go, 2300 RPM. We're gonna check it out again. Looks good, sounds good. And Air Tier 1's about a mile to the north for signature. Air Tier 1, proceed into signature, landing at Joe not moving here. Air Tier 1. So the 497 Victor, what type landing did you want? We go for our full stop landing on the central. So the 497 Victor, runway 6, clear to land. Can't run, can't run, and I'm going to go. Birds on the right side of one side. Okay, young man. You ready to do some formation flying, Pete? Okay, you've got the airplane. I got the airplane. Okay, keep him right there. You can move in a little bit closer, but don't climb. Don't climb. Okay, let's get you back over here where you belong. Use the throttle. Get him forward a little bit. Okay, now. Good, now keep him right there and relax a little bit. You're a little stiff on the controls. You gotta move him. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Get, get down. No, don't get behind him. Get over here where I had you. Much better. Relax. 
up easy. There you go. Now, don't get behind him. All right, add a little bit of throttle so you move forward. There you go, so you can see him better. Now, keep him above your wing where you can see him. Much better. Looking good. One Bravo fly. Two Bravo fly. See you cleared off. I'll give you a call when I'm established south of 60. Thank you. Two. Thank you. Okay. Pull your nose up and let's do 160 knots and climb up there 9,500 feet. There you go. Okay. Easy, easy. There's 170. Don't overshoot it. Okay, 150 will do, but that's the best way to climb for these, so. Lower your nose a little bit. Thank you. Okay, let's level off at 9,500. Good, now, I want you to pull your throttle back. Oh, you're already at 37. Pull your propeller back to 2,300. There you go. Good. Okay, now look at your altimeter. The nose is really low when you're in level flight. So look at your altimeter and maintain 9,500 and get used to that picture and re-trim it so it'll stay there. Okay, let go of the stick and see what happens. Good job. Not so bad. Yeah. Very good. All right, young man, we're going to do steep level turns. We're clear left. Lower your nose a little bit, you're climbing. That's what happens with a Mustang. Everybody wants to climb it. Because the nose just looks like it's too low. It looks like it's in a dive. Okay, now remember what I told you about banking the airplane. We're gonna do about a 60 degree bank. We'll bank it first and then add back pressure. Okay, clear left, bank left. Hey, right, hold that bank angle. Ow. Not bad. Keep that bank in and relax a little bit. You found the sweet spot. You're in a good sweet spot. Hold it right there. Isn't this a nice flying airplane? Okay, that's enough. Let's go back to the right. Clear right, 60 degree right bank. Go ahead and put that right wing down. Good. Find that sweet spot. Get your altimeter, you're climbing a little bit. There you go. Good job. Okay, we're gonna stay in this area right here where we can see the ground. So go ahead and level your wings. Good. Now we're gonna do some slow flight. I want you to do two things. I want you to pull the power back to 28 inches. There's 30, 29, 28. Okay, good. Now, I want you to pull the nose up. We're doing 200 knots. You want to slow down to 90 knots. So pull the nose up, let it climb, and slow it down to 90 knots. But don't overdo it. Let it accelerate. Let it decelerate. A little bit of right rudder, I'll put some trim in for you. There you go. There's 110. There's 100. Okay, I want you to find 90. Nice, nice job. Well, you know, just goes right there. You can feel a little bit of a vibration. That's, that's, that's the first part of the bump. 
Okay, now we're gonna maneuver a little bit. So let's use the aileron and put the left wing down 20 degrees. Good. Good. Now, let's do that to the right with rudder. There's the couple. Good. Good. Okay, let's level the wings. Good, nice job. Now I want to show you something here. Remember the gyroscope, gyroscope, gyroscopic precession that I told you about. I remember that. I want you to push the nose down and watch the nose go left. Push it down. See that? That's the gyroscope. Okay, now pull it back up. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, pull it up a little bit more. Now we're going to stall the airplane. Pull the nose up. Get 90 knots on there again. And when you get to 90, we'll just keep decelerating. We'll find the buffet, and then we'll stall the airplane. There's 100. Their space is good. There's 86. Okay. Ease the nose up a little bit. We're going to stall it. Ease the nose up. Ease up. Feel that buffet? I'll feel that. Okay. Pull it more. And a little bit more. And recover. Nice. Pretty easy, huh? Uh, that's good. It's too easy. So cool. Now we gotta get we gotta make it harder. Okay. Put your right wing down. Right about there, 30 degrees. Okay. Now pull the nose up and stall the airplane. There's the buffet. There's the buffet. Pull, pull more. Pull. Pull. There you go, there's the brake. All right. Nice. Recover. Nice. Good job. Up, oh, there's the buffet. Careful. Okay, now, throttle forward for 37 inches. Good. Very good. Okay, I'm going to talk you through a wing over to the left. All right. Lower your nose, go to 210 knots. All right. Pull the nose up 60 degrees, way up there. Now be patient here. Let it climb. Let it climb. It'll keep going up. Okay. Very good. Now put your left wing down. Right there. Stop the bank. You got it. You got it. Now, just a touch of back pressure. We're going to go that way. Easy, easy. It'll stall. Let the nose go down. There you go. Let's do another one. Let's go to 210 knots again. And we'll do one to the right. There's 210. Pull the nose up. 60 degrees. Nice and smooth. Very good. Let it climb. Put the right wing down, a little bit of right rudder this time, Pete. Good. A little bit of back pressure to pull that nose that way. So it'll fall down. Careful. We're going to go that way. Nice. Much nicer wing over. Okay, level your wings. Feeling good? Very good. Aileron roll, 210 knots. Okay. Pull the nose up above the horizon, a little bit more. Stop the pull. Give me full left aileron, Pete. Push it over there. Hold it over there. Keep it over there until right now. It's too easy, isn't it? It's an easy airplane. Okay. Aileron roll to the right. 210 knots. Stop the pull. Rolling. Little too far. All right. I think it's time for a barrel roll. Okay. We want a reference. Give me a right turn. I want you to aim at that sandy spot, that white spot right under that cloud. I got it. And go to 239. Okay, that's northbound. Good. Now, look at something over here. 
90 degrees away. Pull the nose way up like a wing over. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Roll left, keep pulling, keep pulling. Roll left, not so fast, not so fast. Now we're gonna end up going that way. All right, now keep pulling, keep pulling. It's a positive maneuver, keep pulling. Start rolling, there you go, nice. Very nice, now keep that roll going. We're gonna end up that way. That's a good barrel roll, all right. It's all about the reference line. Nice job. Still feeling good, Pete? Very good, you're a wild man. You're a good teacher. Yeah, I've done this a lot. Okay, kids. How about a loop? Both of us. Give me a right turn. I'm going to get you parallel to those roads going westbound. I'll show you what I mean. Keep turning. Keep turning. Okay, we're going to go westbound. You can see the grid pattern down there. Okay. Now, we need 260 knots for the loop, or more. We'll get the nose down there. Airspace looks clear. Engine gauge looks good. Temperatures and pressures are all good. 240, 250, 260. Easy pull. All right, very good, very good. Easy, easy. Okay. Now squeeze the G's back in. Easy, easy, easy. That's a song. Easy. All right. Now you know. Let's do it again. 260 knots. We'll do it better this time. All right. Up over the top. Another loop. Now, take it easy this time. Okay, now start pulling a little bit of cheese, just a little bit, and then a little bit more, and then a little bit more. All right, I like it. Now, we want to do a climb. Pull the nose up and let it climb. Nice loop. Looking good. Look at that altimeter. <laughs> Now this is amazing how that sounds, it sounds like this thing. It's different, isn't it? I love that part. It's still going up. Okay. Lower your nose, we're back at 10,600 feet. We're gonna do a system check. Temperatures and pressures are good. Coolant temp is dynamite, voltage is good. Hydraulic pressure is good. Okay, we gotta go that way, so give me a turn. Clear right. Okay, young man. When we level the wings, we've, we've got 30 minutes. So I'm going to change the fuel to the right tank. All right. So let's go towards the lake. Right there. I'm going to go to the right tank. And the fuel pressure is still good. And we're still above 10,000 feet. Okay, Mr. German Peter Meister. You want to do an implement or a Cuban ace? Uh, let's start with a Cuban ace. Okay. What we're going to do is 260 knots up over the top like a loop. And we're going to go right to the 45 degree down line. Stop the pull and then half roll. How far that? Okay. Let's go to 260. It's a ball in the middle with a little bit of left rudder. There you go. A little bit more left rudder. 240. 250. There you go. Okay. Up over the top.
Not yet. Not yet. Okay, now. Stop it. Roll it. Nice. Let's do it again. 260. Job. Okay, 45 degree down line. Not yet. Okay, now. Nice. You want to go right into an implement? Oh, yes, I will. 260 knots. Good. Keep pulling. Look for the horizon. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, now. Stop it. Roll it. Now hold the nose up. Nice, Immelman. That's because you're from Germany. <laughs> you invented the Immelman. <laughs> oh, where's the All right, young man. Nice job. Um, now it's time to start getting imaginative. You want to do a four-point aileron roll? Oh, boy, they know. We split the sky in the four pieces. That's right. Look at the look at this here. When this gets 90 degrees, stop it. And I'll say stop. Okay, pull the nose up until I tell you. A little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, stop the pull. Start the roll. Stop. Start. Stop. Start. Stop. And finish it. And then pull the nose back up. All right. Okay, now we're going to do a clover leaf. Now, I want you to go to 210 knots. 210 knots. Okay, pull the nose up vertical. Look left. Roll left. Nice. Nice job. You're getting real smooth. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Stop the roll and pull easy. Pull. Pull. Uh, look, yeah. Easy. Okay, 210. Let's do another one. This time we're going to go right. Pull the, pull the nose up. Vertical. Okay, roll right. Good. Stop the roll. Pull easy at first. Pull a little bit. There you go. There's your road, okay. Now we're gonna do a zoom climb out of this. So pull the nose up, let it climb, and we'll get back above 8,000 feet this way. Nice clover leaf, that was a three leaf clover. Now I'm gonna show, are you still feeling good? I'm okay, I'm good. I'm gonna talk you through what I call a reverse clover leaf. We're gonna do most of the loop. I'm going to go over the top of the loop, and then on the back side, we're going to quarter roll. Okay? Okay. So we need 260 knots. So go ahead and lower your nose. It's 200. Let's go to 260. You're going to be right near that cloud. All right. Good. We'll play with that cloud later. 250. Okay. Over the top like a Cuban 8. Good. Now, I'll tell you when the quarter roll. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. We're going to roll left. Keep pulling. Now, roll left, and we'll go that way. All right. Now, this is a perfect opportunity. Give me a right turn toward that cloud. We're going to attack that cloud. I want you to go right for the middle of it. Lower your nose. Lower your nose. Level your wings. Lower your nose. Level your wings. Looking good. Looking good. Keep going. I'm going to tell you when to pull. Okay, pull. 
All right. Now we're gonna roll it. There you go. Roll it. Back yet, though. Too cool. Nice job. This is so cool. It's, uh, it's like uh, it's just flower stands and things. Exactly. Okay, now this is Lake Pierce. This is where we're going to meet those guys. So we're going to play around here. We still have a couple of minutes. Is there anything else you wanted to do or anything you wanted to repeat? Yeah, uh, can I play uh, again with this flower a little bit? It was so cool. May I fly uh, this kind of cloud maneuver again? Yeah. Just don't fly into the cloud. Of course. You'll see how fast you're going. We're doing 200 knots here. It's just like it's, we're pretending it's the ground. Oh, look at our shadow in there. Cool. Okay, 7,000 feet. Keep your left turn going, just like that, at 7,000, right over this lake. And then we're going to start looking for these guys. Good job on the altitude. Keep it up. November 836, Fox Trot Sierra. Here's your um, one mile right of course, continuing right of course. Correct, you know, see folks here. Dixon 1, traffic is a Cherokee 7 south of Kissimmee 2000. They're trying to correct back to the VOR. Uh, okay, well, I don't want to wait. Thanks for looking. Mustang 6 is crossing 60 northbound, directly south of the east shore. We're right over the center of the lake, just above 7,000 feet, left orbit. We're at 75 miles. Mustang 1, excuse me, I'm going See ya. Must think like push tower. This will be tower, must take five in flight as golf. We're 15 southwest. Must take five in flight. Uh, initial for runway one five. We're going to switch back over to runway one five. Okay, we'll do the initial for one five. Must take five flight. Hey, folks, there's one for the team. Eight, three, six, Fox Trice here. Turn right at the end. Taxi to parking. Okay, young man. Okay, you're at 2,500 feet. Keep it right here for now. Fly very smoothly. There you go. And keep it pointed in that direction. Looking good. Okay, hold it right there at 2,500 feet. Looking good. Looking real good. Can we tell the copy here, just use the boat down east on RTB? Can we call the eight shares here, Roger? Okay, I want to go gradually down to 2,000 feet. There you go. And then we're going to go right through 2,000 feet gradually to 1,500 feet. So nice and easy in the descent. 2,000 and we go to 1,500. Level off at 1,500. Okay, well, I'm going to take it down to 1,000 and line up with that runway, and we'll be doing a right break, okay, Pete? All right. All right, we're cooking along here. This is good. This is good stuff. Mustang 5 flight, clear to land runway 15. Thank you, clear to land 15, Mustang 5 in flight. Get ready, okay, here we go. Break right, okay, you got the airplane, hold the nose up there. Keep turning, it's gonna give you 20 degrees of flaps. Keep turning. 
Looking good. Looking real good. Keep turning. Okay, we're doing 180. We gotta slow it down to 150. So pull a little bit. Tighten up your turn. That'll help you slow it down. Keep the bank in. Good. Line up parallel to the runway. Now we're down near gear speed. Hello, copy all of the All right, gear's going down. Yes, sir, this is Space Fly 1 helicopter, 8 miles from the northeast, about 4 for the hospital. Oh, we have three green lights. That's very good. Handles in the deep. Space Fly 1, Cimitar, proceed. Okay, I'm going to give you another notch of flaps. About 4 for the hospital. Turn right. Get your hand on the throttle. Good airspeed. And we're going to just keep this turn going, Peter, and line up with that runway. I'm going to give you 40 degrees of flat. Still got pretty good airspeed here. Let's pull the nose up a little bit. There you go. Should be about 120 knots here. I'm going to give you more flaps. There we go. Get that turn going. Line it up. I got full flaps in there. Gears down in the detent. Okay. 110 knots would work on final. Oh. You're moving faster than you think. Start turning. 110 knots. Smooth it out. Be smooth. A little bit of power here. I'm going to help you. Gear is down in the D10. Three greens. Four bank. Four bank. Line it up. There you go. Now, use your feet to line it up. Use your feet. Information gone. Right rudder. Right rudder, left stick. Right rudder, left stick. Power's coming back. Pull the nose up. Pull the nose up. Right there. Hold it right there. Nice job. Let it roll. Let it roll. Nice landing. Runway 15's news winds 1, 2, 6 altimeters 3, 0, 2, 1. Hold it there. Keep it straight. Nice landing. That's the best landing I've seen in a while. Mustang flight uh, ground, Mustang 5 flight ground point 7. Point 7 for Mustang 5 in flight. Hello ground, Mustang 5 in flight are coming off of 1-5 for Stallion. Mustang 5 flight to stay and be Alpha and Charlie cross runway 24, hold short runway 15. Alpha, Charlie, cross 24, hold short of 15. Mustang 5 in flight. Okay, bring it back to the left. You've got it. And then back to the right. Started early. There you go. Keep that S turn going. Nice. Good. We're clear to cross 24. You're good. Nobody's coming anyway. Although there's a helicopter out there or something. Yeah. Oh, no brakes. No brakes. If you use the brakes, you're trying to break the pin that locks the tail wheel to the rudder. So it's all rudder. If you want to slow down, you pull the throttle back. All right. Be ground, we're going to go to 1,000 RPM. Uh, echo and, like, and we're going to start shutting to, down uh, here. Number Nav light, alternator, avionics master. Come over here, turn off the coolant and oil doors. And then the mixture. Flaps are down. Bags going off. Hydraulic T-handle comes out. And we're going to check one thing here. See how much gas we use. 61.3 gallons. All right, let's get out of here. How was his job? We did good. We did good. <laughs> You know, you know, you have got now um, 1,000 hours. Congratulations! Yeah. But at least now you could quit and give him the opportunity, and your I cockpit. Should. <laughs> I should. And he okay. flew it well enough to do that. So. Okay. Now, did you see that landing? Yeah. 
Yeah, perfect. That was a beautiful land. Yeah. That was it.